Okay, so what Maya and I are working on out here is this game called Mini Tennis. And all you're using are the four service boxes and you're really working on the feeling of how to play this shot with a Continental Grip. If you take your racket, and I apologize that I got over wrap on this, but you've got two bevels, what we call bevels, that come down the side of the racket here. And what I do is I take the V that's formed by my thumb and my index finger, and it really gets played right along this top left hand bevel if in fact you're right-handed. So, you know, that's that's where you find it and then you can feel it in the forehand, you can feel it in the backhand, but this is where I want you to place your hand. Now, you know what, your hand might be shaped slightly different than mine, and mine's shaped slightly different than someone else's, so we have to kind of tinker with these grips to really find what really is unique for you in terms of a Continental grip. This is not a problem, you can go ahead and practice it, but remember the key is you're looking for a grip that on both your forehand hand and backhand that when you come out of your ready position posture it naturally opens up the racket face so that you don't have to artificially try to scoop under the ball cup under the ball to get some backspin you can do this and you'll get some backspin but I guarantee you the ball is going to sit up on your opponent's side of the net so really the beauty of the Continental is it lays the racket slightly open so all you need to do is bring it in against the forehand and all you need to do is bring it in against the backhand without having to do any kind of artificial you know scooping or cupping in the ball. So it's really important for me is as we're doing this drill that I feel that my grip tension is relaxed. Get too strong it's really hard to feel feel the ball kind of slide kind of on the strings and you really do feel a little bit of slide. You don't have a lot of swing because too much swing creates too much spin and it's really tough to control. Yeah, there is a little bit of spin. The Continental Grip by virtue of keeping the racket face open when you play this shot is going to give it for you. So, you know, here's what we're going to do is we're just going to start the rally and just go for, whoa! Oh, that's tough. The other thing to make sure you do with this drill is when you start the rally, don't drop and hit a topspin, whatever. I want you to either drop and play a carve or just carve it right out of the air. So the first shot that you, that you play, if you start the rally, you're giving yourself a sense of how do you play this shot. Oh, there's a flat one. Oh. So, get your favorite practice partner and get out there and do this drill. Not only will you improve the feeling of how to impart this drop shot underspin for all your shots, and you'll obviously get a great workout doing this as well. So, Something else this drill will help you with is to watch the ball and try making visual contact with the ball the entire time. Make sure, you know, if you see your opponent, make sure you don't have direct visual contact with them. You see them out of your peripheral, but you're really focused on seeing the ball as it goes over and not watching your opponent move, but seeing the ball, oh maybe, oh yes. So this drill really has a lot of benefits in so many different areas of your game. All right, get out there this week two times, get a great practice partner, where are you? And, uh, and work it, continental grip, feel. All right, have a great day.